Hi students, this is Sivakumar, 12th Standard Business Mathematics and Statistics, Chapter Number 4, Continuation of Exercise, 4.3. Now, Problem Number 3. x into dy by dx minus y that is equal to root of x square plus y square. I retain dy by dx only in the left hand side. For that, x into dy by dx that is equal to minus y comes left hand side, right hand side plus y, y plus root of x square plus y square. Now, dy by dx that is equal to y plus x, sorry, y plus root of x square plus y square whole divided by x x comes to the denominator. How can we say this is a homogeneous differential equation? First we can verify that denominator degree and numerator degree. Numerator degree we can verify first. x square plus y square in between what sign plus. So particularly for this degree is 2. Correct? Common degree is 2. But we have square root. Since we have square root half of the common degree the degree is 2, half of the common degree is so 1 only. So, for this alone the degree is 1, particularly this part. Here y power 1, here power 1, so degree 1, here also 1, in between what sign 1, so common degree is 1 only, particularly for the numerator. Now, denominator x power 1, that is also 1. So, numerator and denominator degrees are same, we can say this is a homogeneous differential equation. Since we have dy by dx, we need the term y by x, correct? So, each and every term should be divided by x. Already we have x, correct? So, what to do? It can be separated as, instead of dividing, you can directly divide y by x. You are getting the term y by x. No need to divide the numerator and denominator by x. Since we have y by x, directly divide a root of x squared plus y square divided by x. Then dy by dx that is equal to y by x as it is plus full square root I put full square root x square plus y square this one this x comes to the square root you can write x square correct only no square root of x square is x. This is without square root, this one is with square root. These two are same only. We have taken inside, no, we can separate now. x squared by x squared, y squared by x squared. That's why I have written y by x plus a root of x squared by x squared plus y squared by x squared. x squared, x squared cancelled. y by x plus a root of x squared, x squared cancelled means you can write 1 plus y squared by x squared you can write y by x the whole square what is in the left hand side dy by dx look at that y by x here also y by x right form you can write the form here form dy by dx is a function of y by x this is number one so since this is of the form dy by dx in terms of y by x put y that is equal to vx consider y that is equal to vx put y that is equal to vx differentiate differentiate with respect to x y with respect to x you know very well dy by dx that is equal to UV method, we write as it is, differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 plus x write as it is, v with respect to x is dv by dx. For your reference, write the formula, differentiation of uv that is equal to uv dash plus vu dash, which implies dy by dx equals v into 1 v plus x into dv by dx. Now, equation 1 implies what is here? 
in equation number 1 dy by dx that can be replaced by v plus x into dv by dx v plus x into dv by dx that is equal to what is in the right turn side we have y by x this y by x can be replaced by v here also v v plus root of 1 plus v squared v plus root of 1 plus v squared but what is the reason since y equal to vx v equal to y by x i write here v that is equal to y by x I write the reason here also since V that is equal to Y by X. V we get cancelled. So X into DV by DX that is equal to root of 1 plus V squared. Now we can separate the variables. DV all V terms to the left hand side root of 1 plus V squared that is equal to cross multiply DX by x variables are separated now can integrate so integral integrating on both sides integral 1 by 1 plus v square square root of 1 plus v square into dv that is equal to integral dx by x or 1 by x dx particularly for this uh, there is a direct formula uh, write the formula over here we know that integral 1 divided by root of x squared plus a squared into dx that is equal to log of x plus root of x squared plus a squared that's a formula compare these two since dx is that x is the function a squared is a constant dv is that v is the function so here instead of x squared here we have v squared one itself can be written as one squared this was same so a squared is one squared x squared is v squared so x equal to v a equal to one x that is equal to v a that is equal to one substitute in that formula so here log of modulus even you can put modulus the next step you can remove the modulus okay modulus x can be replaced by v plus a root of x square plus a square means v square plus 1 square 1 square is 1 that is equal to 1 by x is log x or log modulus of x plus log of c once the integration is over, you have to introduce the constant c instead of c what I have taken, log c, right, which implies log, now you can write without modulus, v plus root of v square plus 1 that is equal to, here log m plus log n that is equal to log m, n, x into c or c into x, write the reason here, since log m plus log n that is equal to log mn here we have log right hand side also log both log get eliminated you just put implies only you write v plus root of v square plus 1 that is equal to cx which implies v plus root of v square plus 1 that is equal to cx the next step wherever v comes that should be replaced by y by x already told you the final result in terms of x and y so v can be replaced by y by x plus root of v squared is y squared by x squared plus 1 that is equal to cx what is the reason since v that is equal to y by x which implies y by x plus root of y squared plus cross multiply x squared into 1 is x squared whole divided by x squared write this x squared inside the square root only 
that is equal to cx the next step y by x now take that square root for numerator and denominator since you have plus sign in between right square root of y square plus x square as it is here only x square in the denominator square root of x square is x only that is equal to cx then common denominator so write x only then write the numerator y plus root of y square plus x square or x square plus y square that is equal to cx which implies y plus root of x square plus y square equal to cross multiply x into cx is cx square that's all this is c problem number three is completed i'll be teaching the next problem that's the problem number four in the next video thank you children